So now we're here is um, Peggy Noonan. I don't know if you know who Peggy Noonan is. She used to work for Ronald Reagan, and she's been a horrific hack ever since. So it's just the worst. And she does that thing where she speaks like she's really speaking sincerely, and she's just laying on the bullshit, all right? And so here, here's what she has to say. Uh, let's, let's play it. We are in the midst, you write, of the worst Washington scandal since Watergate. The <laughs> reputation of the Obama White House has among conservatives gone from sketchy to sinister and among liberals from unsatisfying to dangerous. No one likes what they're seeing. The IRS and AP scandals have left the administration's credibility deeply, probably ir ir irretrievably damaged. They don't look uh, jerky now. They look dirty. The patina of high-mindedness the president enjoyed is gone. So... She's upset. She compares it to Watergate, which it's not anywhere. So guess what happens? David Gregory actually pushes back. Listen, because, because I don't know if you remember, Peggy Noonan used to work for Ronald Reagan, and here we go. I have to say, Peggy, what you don't talk about here is uh, an, an administration uh, for a man that you worked for who led the Iran-Contra Contra scandal where they oh, ran a goodness. secret war and lied to Congress and all the rest. Over, overstatement here? First of all, either somebody just grew a pair <laughs> or somebody didn't get his invitation to Peggy Noonan's spring party. <laughs> and he's bullshit about it. Yeah. yeah, and he's a little upset. Oh, by the way, Peggy, uh, didn't you work for fucking Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I just checked my mailbox. Yeah. I didn't see an invitation. Did you think I wasn't going to hear yeah. about the party? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a scandal. Yeah, right. You don't think Brokaw texted me? <laughs> it was super awkward. He said, I'll see you Sunday. And I was like, where? And he was like, at Peggy's. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I have, I have, it was horrible. And I could hear <laughs> Luke Rusher going, ixnay, ixnay. <laughs> <laughs> so. What else? Like, I got, he asked her about Iran-Contra because she worked for Reagan. But like, like, we just gloss over the the illegal war with the wrong what? country. Yes. I mean, it, it, you know what? That's bigger than Watergate. I would, you would think. Yeah, here's the thing, we invaded a country that did nothing to us, but we didn't <laughs> like the guy in charge. That has never been called a scandal, ever. Uh, that has That's, not That been, word has never even been used. Yeah, Iraq gate, how about that? Yeah, where's Invasion that? Invasion gate. Yeah, how about war crime gate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's that? Oh man, this is good stuff. Mm -hmm. I gotta write this down and put it in my act. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is all right. That's Nobody reason. died in Watergate. Iraq? Eh, not uh, so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that one, we gotta go back to Iran Contra. But she worked for Ray. So, so she, she, her, her great thing that she has is this aura of reasonability. Yes, but she isn't. No, totally not. A, she's not only not reasonable, she's, I think, super dumb. She likes, she's super dumb, or she thinks we're super dumb. Well, that's probably we, it, yeah. She, cause she'll just say any kind of bullshit. And if she says it like this, yeah, yeah, Ben, yeah, if I say it like this. And she's got like this. great hair and she, she's, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't seem in any way like a crazy Republican right. until you really break down what she said. And she was such a great writer. So many of those great things that Reagan said. She wrote. She gave him. She's a yeah. really talented writer, but I mean, right. her sort of. She's a good spinner. She can spin a web of she, bullshit. She, yeah, that she doesn't she, have a moral compass. Right, at that she's a genius, yes. Yes, yeah, so here, so this is, I'll, I'll play a couple of clips of some David Gregory pushing back against her. So he just pushed it back her. Here's how, it's like water off a duck's ass to her. She just keeps, it doesn't stop her one bit from pushing her line of bullshit. Play the next clip. I don't think so. I think this is what is going on now is all three of these scandals makes a cluster that implies some very bad things. <laughs> so he just said, wait a minute, you worked for Reagan, Iran Contra, they lied to Congress, they had an, an illegal war that nobody talked about. And she's, isn't this, she's like, mm, no, no, I don't think, this is worse than that. It's a cluster. Be, because it's a cluster, she makes this pig nose, the mm. cluck, what is, what do you, when you have to make that face, like you're chewing on a lemon, I don't think you really have a good point to make. Let's, let's just, let me look at that face, play the next clip, Hank. Can Three I see? Three of these scandals makes <laughs> a cluster yeah, yeah. that implies. That, yeah. what is, could you hold it, can you hold it? It's like she's on Planet of the Apes. Totally, yeah. <laughs> She's doing this. You know how they did that all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. She's the, mm -hmm. yeah. She's uh, but she's wow. one of the. She's like Dr. Zayas. Like she's one of the. She's one of the good apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, not yeah. so much one of the good apes, but a scientific ape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> but an ape, right. nonetheless. But an ape, nonetheless. Nonetheless, she's enslaved man. <laughs> you know, I only saw that movie one time. 
when it's totally worth so seeing. I don't know it's great. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's fantastic. So oh, let's okay. play the next clip. So, so she just completely ignored everything he said. <coughs> Let me just about that clip because what she said, yeah. that she said that it, it's a cluster. Cluster that implies. Yes. So, so the worst of this <laughs> is it implication is that there's an implication <laughs> they did something wrong. And if there's no more surefire <laughs> sign that they don't have any evidence of anything actually being done wrong. <laughs> There's a bit of an implication. We've created, we control the house, so we control the scandal investigations, and we've done three at the same time. Mm. Pretty big implication. Mm. Yeah. It's just a uh, cluster. It's three. It's not one. It's, it's three. three. Watergate it's three. was one. <laughs> three. We went right past. three, which is two more. <laughs> Even if they're bullshit, there's like three times as many. So her, her bullshit keeps going, and David Gregory actually does his job. Play the next clip, please. Dang, and I gotta tell you, the... You, everyone can argue about which of these things is most upsetting, but this IRS thing is something I've never seen in my lifetime. It is the revenue gathering arm of the U.S. Peg, government Peggy, going wait a second. after political. Richard Nixon specifically directed people to investigate, under, to audit people. I mean, of course, we've seen it in our lifetime. But this is so. <laughs> understood, understood, but let me just keep going. So he just debunked her twice on the bullshit Watergate thing, and he said, wait a minute, you worked for fucking Ronald Reagan, I ran country, illegal wars, lying to Congress, okay. okay, forget about that. But then she says, but then she shifts and says, what about the IRS thing? And he goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right. We've seen this in our lifetime, and Nixon ordered it. Okay, understood. Listen, back. so every point she makes is immediately debunked by David Gregory, which never fucking happens, ever, ever. But it's happening now because he didn't get invited to that party, right? <laughs> and he Should is making her pay. Yet it doesn't slow her down. One, she's like the Terminator, just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I just keep coming. She's come. Here's the next clip. Play it, please. If it doesn't stop now, mm -hmm. it will never stop. Do you mean your bullshit, Peggy? Is that what you're talking <laughs> about? Your bullshit will never stop? Because of, what are we going to do to stop it? Play the next clip. And the only way it can stop is if, frankly, a price is paid, if people come forward. And say, that bitch needs to be fired. That's what's <laughs> going that's what's gonna stop it. If people finally come forward. Yeah, I, I find her, I find the whole thing staggering. Like the, again, we forget about Nixon. Nixon like hired criminals to spy <laughs> on his political opponents. Yes. Like he surrounded himself with like thugs, thugs. and, and mm -hmm. yeah, and petty thieves. And like if he, they spied on Ted Kennedy everywhere he went. Yes. They spied on him because that's who he was worried about. When, when Arthur Bremer shot, this is the best Nixon story ever. Forget Watergate. When when Arthur Bremer shot George Wallace in 1972, um, George Wallace was running for president during the campaign. He shoots George Wallace. Nixon tells, I think, Chuck Colson to send right. his guys to Bremer's house to plant McGovern literature there. <laughs> and then when they got there, they call him and they're like, the, the FBI is already here. Sorry. Oh. Um, uh, opportunity lost. Wow. Yeah. Really? I didn't the know that. The guy is an unbelievable criminal. You know how we know that? Because it's on tape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and he, and he had the IRS do audits of his enemies. Yes. Not mm -hmm. look carefully at an application. Right. And, yes. and send follow-up questions. Like, that's even not the same thing. Right. Like, if this was political and he was like, if somebody said, make sure these Tea Party organizations uh, have to really work to get the thing that we're eventually going to give them, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, that would be bad, but it's not even that. It's merely some of them had more paperwork to answer before they, before got, they got approved. Before they got approved.